Howdy farmers, Queso here. Uh, tonight I am going to do a video, actually now it's morning, in-game, but tonight here at my place I'm going to do a video on potato farming. Um, this is a request from people to ask, they've been asking about potatoes and what to do, um, so we're going to go through the necessary equipment and talk about um, how to do it. So, obviously, first things first is you need a field. Um, let me just, uh, you need any old field, so this num starting number 16, uh, we're going to plant. As you can see next to me, I've got this one uh, uh, growing and uh, at different stages, so we won't bother waiting. Um, so, one of the things, like I said, you need is a field, and you need that field plowed. So, you don't actually need to use a, one of those plows, the, you can see it there in the distance, um, I'm going to go to it. You only need the, the field actually cultivated, which I was a little bit disappointed in because normally um, potatoes are planted in a, well, sorry, I shouldn't say that, maybe they're um, planted in a in an actual field, um, cultivated field, like a flat field, but again, they get put into rows, so you can see there. Anyway, I thought at first you may need one of those um, plows, but you don't, so it appears as if all you ever need that plow for is joining fields, um, so don't bother getting a plow, just uh, start off, if you don't already have, get yourself a cultivator, that's what this here is, um, and cultivate your field. So if you look at your in your store, the cultivators are any one of these um, pieces of machinery. Um, some of them, there's advantages to having some over others, and... Uh, Some, because I one some that I don't like, I don't like the like these ones here that actually turn. This is sometimes it cause issues. You also can't load them on the front, although you can end up loading the um, sprayer on the front. So actually, that kind of brings me to my next point of spraying. I, I haven't tested the yield, um, but I will put an annotation in after I do so, because uh, I'm gonna spray one of these fields here but like all crops so far in the game if you use spray or fertilizer of any type whether it's spray liquid manure or regular manure your crop does increase so one of the things I do is I just get the small cheapest little Amazon uh, sprayer put it on the front of a tractor because it also add, acts like a weight um, you do not need to fill it to the, to the top if you want to save some money. Um, so you can you can just put a tiny little bit in because when you hit H to hire a worker, uh, it doesn't use up any of the materials in it. So um, seems loud. There we go. So you uh, yeah. So put a sprayer on the front connect up your cedar. Now, for potato harvesting, there is only two types... Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Not potato harvesting. Cedar. Sorry. Uh, there's sewing machines. Okay. So in the sewing machines, there are, is only two types of uh, machines that can sew potatoes. So you'll look your usage, it'll tell you the product that it can do it. And it's these grime, grim, grimy grim, whatever the company name is. And you'll see that it'll say, I'm going to say it's grim. Um, they'll say planting potatoes. So there's, there's this one that does 3.5 meters, or sorry, 3.15 meters, and then the, the grime other one does six meters. So, is it, and if, when you go through the other ones, you'll see that these ones do not do potatoes. So, unfortunately, there's not one machine that'll sew everything. Okay, so get your uh, tractor.
get a, f a sprayer on the front of it. Line up with your field. Make sure you've got your sower. Press H for higher and B. Oh, sorry. Let's try this again. I want to reset here. And one of the things I notice with hedgerow machines is it always starts, puts down the left arm. So you, it's always a, it's easier if you just um, start on your right, on the right side of the field. And anyway, here's what I was doing. So select the front machine. So you see how I've got the the sprayer selected. I'll hit higher, and then I'll press B to turn on the sprayer. Notice the fertilizer level is not going down; it's staying at 100%. And if I hit G to switch to my seeder, the same thing. There's no change. So you can go ahead, do this, allow your field to fertilize and plant at the same time. After that's all grown up, and uh, I'll just disconnect here. After it's all uh, harvested or growth states, let me see if we can uh, just see the different growth states. So the first stage is this here. You'll see a tiny little bit of a green um, pop up out of the ground. That's stage one. And as the plant matures, it grows into this next stage is a little bigger, a little more bushier, and I believe this is bigger. Yep, so this is stage three. As you can see, it's even bigger, and I don't have stage four right now, but what happened? Oh, there's some. Yeah, here. So it grows even taller and a little more bushier, and then grows white flowers on the top. So that's almost at harvesting time. But what happens when it's ready for harvest, you end up with this here. So the plant, technically the plant dies, and and then the, then the potatoes are ready for harvest. So that leads me to the next stage of machinery. So there is a section in here under potato fertilizer, or potato harvesting, and there's three pieces of machinery you can get. So there's the grime um, topper. Um, so what you need to do is top the potatoes before they're ready for harvest. Basically that's cutting the plants off the top and then there's the harvesting of the potatoes. Both of these machines um, require manual operation of your tractor so you can't actually put it on the tractor and hire a worker to do it. So you're gonna have to drive up your field with it on and drive um, and if you don't do it in with both equipments attached you're gonna have to do it two times so this is what I mean here I'll show you um, this is the herb actual potato harvester I used it a little bit so um, you watch when I get close to the field here it doesn't turn on or doesn't say that I can um, hire a worker the so <clears throat> what you end up doing is just coming along here I'll do it on this row up here actually it's already it's already going I'll just do it right here in the middle of the field um, if I turn it on w without actually um, topping the field and it's funny because I am on speed control number two um, and I get that message but you'll see I've got the machine on, the, the plants haven't been topped yet or cut, and I'm not actually harvesting potatoes, so you can't, you can't do it, uh, <coughs> you have to cut the tops of the potatoes. So, that machine is over here, because I had, I was trying them all. So, if you want to save yourself money, because, uh, actually, let me go back into, um, the price here. Let's turn this guy around. Uh, just like barreling over everything. Okay. Okay, so you can see this topper wants you to lower it and you can turn it on. So I'm just going to come back in here. Let's fail. 
Okay, so back into the equipment, potato harvesting. This is basically $8,000, and this is $19,000. So um, for $126,000 approximately, you can harvest your potatoes. Of course, you need your cedars, so that's extra. But that'll get you harvesting completely manual, though, um, as you'll see in a minute. And then your other option, which is this machine, which does both, um, is quite expensive, but we'll get to that in a minute. Personally, I think it's worthwhile saving the money and waiting, especially since you could just farm sheep and, uh, and get uh, lots of money that way. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to lower it. Obviously, with V, that's always the the, uh, the key to do it. I'm going to press uh, um, B to turn it on, and I'm going to drive. So I'm not going to actually harvest them. I want to show you what it looks like. Um, so there you can see that it kind of does a... looks like a, it's mashed up. Um, and it's... It's funny, the graphic... Oh no, it is harvesting. I didn't. Need, I just hit B to turn on the topper, so it looks like that when it's... Um, G, it ended up turning on the harvester automatically when it, rec it recognized the topper was on the front, so... That's, how, that's okay. That's, that works out really well, that uh, you just have to press B on the on the top of the top or on the front and it automatically does it. <coughs> but you see there is no there's no work. So I just hit H just to see if it just wasn't an option on the actual menu and as you can see it's not. Now one of the things I notice is here I'm backing up trying to turn and as you know with other pieces of equipment like especially on the forklift when the forks are down you don't actually turn very well, so you will need to lift up the topper. See right there? You'll have to lift it up after uh, at the end of your row. So it is. It does kind of suck. I don't really like that part of it, um, so, which then leads me to this. So we're at the the Grim Tektron 415. Uh, it is the topper. So you can see that at the front and the harvester all in one and as you can tell it has a higher worker option so we just hit H and away it goes it just does its thing and you can see it's picking up uh, it's cutting all the greens off the potatoes and picking up the potatoes themselves and of course it automatically is collecting so as it's going along much like all the other harvesters and combines, you should be able to go grab a tractor with a trailer and drive up beside it and I suspect, I haven't actually tried this part to see if it'll do it automatically, but I suspect it will um, dump. Yep, there you go. It'll dump out potatoes as you drive along beside it. So you could get and it's fast too, like, well, I mean, it was only 9%, but, um, so you can see that it's easy to just drive up alongside of it while it does its thing. Um, again, like I said, the ha hassle of manually planting and doing the work is really, um, inconvenient. You know, yes, this is a lot more money, uh, to buy that harvester, but, you know, when you think of all the other combines, so like just a regular big combine, like the first one is 200 and some odd thousand. Um, it's not like you would have to play forever in order to save up. So you would, you know, you can certainly get that money and, and, and save up and buy this thing. So, um, yeah, so there. I and mean, you just can drive alongside of it and, and get the potatoes out of it. Or, you know, if you're managing multiple fields, you just have your harvester going and you come back to it um, with your with your truck. So that's that's that. Then I, I'm going to show you. I mean, you guys should know this already, but but where you store your um, 
equipment, or sorry, where you store the potatoes. So we are going to head back to the farm. This here piece of equipment that's sitting here is the smaller cedar. So that's the 3.15 meter one versus the other one that I've got there, which is uh, 6 meters. Okay, so um, this is where it gets a little more difficult, especially with this trailer. Um, but basically you want to back into... Uh, you want to back into your, your uh, thing. And of course, I'm not the greatest at backing up this trailer because it's it does the turn on the front of it and also on the... and of course the trailer turns itself as well. So sometimes it's easier just to back... there we go. And you just hit Q as normal and empty your uh, empty your potatoes and you can see that potatoes we got 16,000 because a default game actually um, starts you off with 8,000 and something, 8,600. Anyway, to, to get them, you just come out and bring your tractor un or trailer underneath and fill, let it fill up. So, also one of the other questions is, well, where do you sell your potatoes? So, under the prices on your PDA, pressing 9 on your keyboard, and you can see the different locations. So, there's the farm shop, the freight yard, and the inn. So, you only have three different options for potatoes. And it looks like, in this case here, or at least right now, the inn has the, the better um, better price. And so, you just go and drop them off at the inn. So, I th I, yeah, so that's it. I believe, uh, I believe that will answer the majority of people's questions. The de there definitely would be um, a productivity or a higher yield with fertilizing. Um, you know what, I'm not even gonna, I'm not going to waste my time in getting numbers because we know that fertilizing is uh, is better anyway on all products or on all crops. So just go ahead and attach that small fertilizer um, and take a look at my f uh, yield testing video regarding the, uh, the actual fertilizers. I did a test on um, what uh, what fertilizers are um, what actual equipment is better and what fertilizer itself is better is the spray the manure or the liquid manure better than another and ultimately not it doesn't matter what you use they're all the same and the equipment is the same as well so I um, hope that helps you guys if you have any questions uh, give me a shout, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, later guys. Bye.